So in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can use Pabbly Connect, which is an alternative and much, much cheaper and better than Zapier. It actually has the ability to do webhooks and all kinds of amazing things where you can trigger automations. And now they just came out with an improvement where you can now use Microsoft Excel with a free OneDrive account. So almost every Windows computer nowadays comes with OneDrive built in. So it's kind of obvious we can just go ahead and try this out. Inside my Pabbly Connect, I just clicked the Add button and I gave it a name Excel to Gmail. So I'm I'm going to choose the app when I type in Excel now Microsoft Excel finally pops up as an option which is amazing so there's four triggers that can trigger one of these events right now what they have is whenever there's a new workbook ideally in a OneDrive specific folder I guess the new worksheet so whenever you create a new tab inside a workbook that is already existing if you create a new row in a worksheet or in a actual table so what I want to do is just create a new row in a worksheet it says that this triggers every eight hours so it's not something you can set up to be minute by minute or second by second at this time it's automatically just checking several times a day so we're going to do a new row in a worksheet and then we have to click connect so we're going to create a new connection because I don't have a connection to my OneDrive account I may blur some stuff out of its private oh well so we're gonna say connect with Microsoft Excel then it opens up your Windows uh, live account and basically says we need your permission to access OneDrive files I'm gonna say yes and give it permission and successful great so now we're connected to that now we're going to choose either a workbook or a worksheet that's in OneDrive. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and just create one and put it in my OneDrive folder so we can have a basis to uh, work with here. So let's create a quick one and we'll be right back. So as I'm saving this here, I'm in the same directory that my other OneDrive files are in. And I just created a folder called Pabli. We'll call this workbook Pabli Test and save it. All right, so we have a OneDrive Excel file now. So let's go to our workbooks. So it looks like after I refreshed the page, went through these uh, steps again, when I clicked refresh to fetch new items, it actually did find a couple Excel files in my OneDrive account here. So the one that I wanted to do is the Pabbly test. Now hopefully they'll have a better structure because those are in different folders. And if you have a lot of Excel files in your directory, it might be very, very uh, flooded there. All right, so uh, we have two sheets in here. We'll, we'll take sheet one from that Pabbly test workbook here and we're just going to ask it for a simple response so let's go ahead and save and send test request clearly it's collected a lot of data here so what we're going to do now is we're going to do some entry in here so I'm going to say Dan all right so we have a simple message we're going to go ahead and click save which saves it to OneDrive let's go ahead and send another test request there we go Dan, Dan at, and hey Dan, I hope you're doing well. So it looks like the values 0, 0, 0, 001 and 0, 02 are the new message. Let's take that information and do another automation. So we could create an automation that does pretty much anything. We could upload it to our WooCommerce site, send out an email using one of the email services, create different files. You could add somebody to a Learn Dash course with just their name and email and register them on your website. All kinds of different things you can do with that. So we're going to do something simple. In this case, I'm going to type in Gmail. And I'm going to connect it to my Gmail account to simply send an email using their email and the message that's already on the Excel file. Now, we have to give it a little bit of love here. We're asking it to do automations, and we have to obviously give it permissions to do those automations. So it's pretty obvious. Now that we're connected with Gmail, we can move on. So what's the recipient address? So rather than hard coding this, I'm going to take data from step one, which was the new row in a worksheet. And let's go down to where they had that information. So it looks like these are taking the properties of the range objects such as the dot text, the dot formula, dot formula local, formula r1c1 and I'm sure there's a formula or a dot value as well. There you go. So dot values. That's a little more direct than taking the formulas because there could be a formula in a cell and if it might say equals sum of you know whatever cell through whatever cell we don't want the formula we want the value the resultant value or we could take the dot text it really doesn't matter we're gonna go to the value that contains the email address so 01 and that'll be dynamic whenever we add a new row no CC or BCC the sender name is always gonna be me or whatever your name is so I'll hard code that or you may say Dan at Excel VBA is fun something like that the email subject if you had that on your spreadsheet that's fine I'm gonna say hey 
and then I'm going to add a space bar, and then I'm going to, right after that, I'm going to put their first name. So it's going to say, hey, Dan, or whatever their name might be on that row. So it's going to say, hey, space, and then this value, Dan. That'll be the subject line. Reply to whatever you know how to automate that stuff. Same deal. You can do a plain email or HTML email. I don't have HTML in that cell that has my body of the email. You could rig that together, but right now I don't have that. So the email content is going to be the body of the email, which I happen to have. It's going to be dynamic rather than hard-coded in this Pabbly. So it's going to come from this cell right here. Hey, Dan. Hope you're doing well. Test email. Okay. And I could have hit alt equals when I was in that cell to create a new line and another new line with alt equals to actually space it out and make it nice. I don't have a file name, so I'm not going to say some file name.pdf or whatever or the URL for that attachment file. I don't have an attachment. I'm just sending a basic email. So we're going to go ahead and save and send this test response. So that should send out an email from my Excel VBA is fun at gmail.com account to my Dan at Excel VBA is fun dot com account says it was sent so we'll check Outlook and make sure that everything went through just fine so if we open up Outlook here we can see that we just received an email that says hey Dan hope you're doing well test email and you can see that the subject was dynamic hey Dan so let's test this one more time what we're gonna do is simply uh, go through and do a different name so we'll say Paul once again we're gonna we're gonna use another email that I control so we're gonna use Dan at Excel VBS fun.com and this time we'll say this is a test with multiple lines thanks Dan so this one has spaces using the alt equals no big deal now I'm gonna save it to my OneDrive and what we'll do now is we will ask it to do another test request at the beginning step which is where it seeks out information from the Excel workbook row there's the board Paul so that tells me it's doing good now we'll go ahead and test the second step and that should pretty much automatically and instantly send something to Outlook. It says it was sent. So if we look at Outlook now, the Dan at Excel VBS Fun account received this email. It says, hey, Paul, in the subject. It says this is a test with multiple lines. Thanks, Dan. So that automation is pretty awesome. Now, when this is actually running, as I said before, it's supposed to run uh, check for new data every eight hours. So presumably, it's going to run each line one at a time, but it's only going to check every eight hours. So let's say it happens at noon and then 8 p.m. or something like that. Then it's going to go through all the records that it had not received yet. So it'll do one batch at a time. And then eight hours later, it'll do any new records one at a time. So Pavly has like over 850 integrations and they're growing rapidly so what that means is you can start with an Excel file or you can start with a Gmail account that you want to be looking for certain things to trigger and then you can have them move on down the line of automation and do different things so you can have it automatically add someone to your active campaign or your Aweber or your get response account and then the next step might also be adding them to a course that you have or it might automatically add them to um, a conversation in some chat or CRM program that you have and automatically tell it to follow up with them in one week or whatever all these different things you can choose how that all plays out and you can do so much with these automations so it's just amazing that you can do that now with Microsoft Excel that's the new big thing this week so we're just scrolling through some of the other automations that they have discord discourse integrates with Facebook ads and pages lead ads Facebook groups all the Google products are pretty well integrated in there you can do a lot of stuff with that of course WooCommerce and WordPress uh, learn dash Kartra we use woo funnels to have custom checkout pages on our website and custom thank you pages opt-in lead forms things like that so that's a really powerful software as well and apparently you can automate a lot of stuff with that a lot of people use forms like WP forms fluent forms all that kind of stuff uh, has tons of automations that you can put in your to-do list apparently you can automate zoom things so probably you can create meetings or create automatic invites and an automatic session at a certain date based on whatever happens so let's say somebody submits a form or simply just emails you out of the blue and if it has certain keywords then maybe you automatically create a zoom and automatically email them back that yep this zoom is confirmed because you use the magic keyword or whatever uh, maybe automatically upload to YouTube or maybe it automatically searches YouTube for new comments and does things like that for you automatically pretty much anything you can think of either it's already in existence or you can reach out to them and request it and they're they have a huge development team so I'm really impressed with them 
I've used their lifetime deal that came by a while back, and actually there's another lifetime deal going on right now. So that uh, unlike Zapier, where you have to pay an exorbitant amount every month, whether you use it or not, uh, Pavly has different lifetime deals going on from time to time. And that's where, so I have 10,000 what Zapier people would call zaps. I get 10,000 tasks. Another cool thing about Pavly, though, is that a lot of the tasks are actually free, whereas with Zapier, each of those would count. So anything that happens internally, like dissecting a delimited field with, you know, taking away the commas and separating them, that's an internal or a free task. And there's a lot of free tasks, so it ends up being you know, a half or a third of the actual things that you actually get dinged for every month. Um, and with a lifetime deal, it's just more than you can almost handle. I have 10,000 tasks, and, and that doesn't include all the free tasks I get, which is probably more than 10,000 per month. So you definitely want to check that out.